Hey, hey, good afternoon, good afternoon. I'm just about six minutes late, but I was trying to get on here. How y'all doing? How y'all doing this afternoon? How you doing this afternoon? This is your first motivational moment by Coach Gigi. Ooh, God just gave me that. Ain't that something? Motivational moment by Gigi, by Coach Gigi. And today, as you, see, as you can see, the topic says... Warrior equals courage. Warrior equals courage. And let me tell you why that is. I, I told you before, the warrior, you have to fight. You, you got to be ready to fight for your dream. Be ready to fight for your life. Be ready to fight what's on the inside of you. Be ready to fight. That's a warrior. But you have to have courage to be, <coughs> excuse me, to fight. Cor war courage to be the warrior that's going to be the fighter. The fighter. So, um, I have two scriptures here. One is Joshua 1 and 9. And it says, be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shall thou divide for inheritance. I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong verse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be on 9. I apologize. 9. 9. 1 and 9. Joshua 1 and 9. I do apologize. Uh, it says... Have not I commanded thee to be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou go. So that verse, let me let me help you out. Let me help you out. I, I love to love to talk on the same level of people are on. I'm not gonna go here and we here, but we're gonna be right here together. Be courage, have courage because God is with you wherever you go. Be have courage because God is with you wherever you go. That was Joshua 1 and 9. Now we're going to go to Psalms, Psalms 27, 1 and 2. Psalms 27, 1 and 2. Psalms 27, 1 and 2. <clears throat> and it reads, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? We keep hearing that. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Fear, afraid. Okay, number two, the second verse. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes shall <laughs> came upon me. To eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Okay, let me let me let me come back with you with this one. Let me help you with this one. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I shall not fear anyone because the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. And it says, The Lord is my strength in my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Because we cannot rely on our own strength. We have to start pulling on the strength of the Lord. Can I get somebody to help me there? You have to pull, learn to pull on the strength of the Lord because we cannot operate in our own strength. If we try to operate in our own strength, we're going we gonna to win the war every time. See, but, but you have to have courage enough to know that you got to pull on God's strength. You can't operate in your own strength. Warrior equals courage. It takes courage to live the life worthy of living. To live the life worthy of living. To live the life you desire to live. It takes courage. <clears throat> you have to get up every day and tell God, thank you. Whatever happens to me today, God, you and I can handle it. You and I, I didn't say Gigi and God, God and Gigi going to handle it. Whatever falls out for the day, I'm going to give it to God. I'm going to give it to God. So whatever he directs me to do, that's what I'm going to do. God is going to handle it. <clears throat> so I have a question. Are you, are you, are you bearing much fruit? Little fruit, no fruit. See, see, we all know about the fruits of the Spirit. But what fruit are you bearing? What is it that somebody can look at you and say, Oh, that's a child of the Most High. Oh, she's operating the way he's telling her to. What fruit are you bearing? You have been chosen. 
And you've been sitting on the, the gifts, the, 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 the dream God gave you. You're sitting on it. You've been chosen. Can't nobody take it. You've been chosen by the one and only God, God Almighty. Live a life that outlives you. That's called your legacy. Leave a legacy for your children, your children's children, and your children's children's children. Live a life that's going to outlive you. See, what I do every day, that's going to outlive me. Because Coach Gigi, Evangelist Gigi, that's about to be a household name. Because the lives that I've been able to touch, the lives that God has put me in charge of, people that stand, sit before me or stand before me, I have been given a charge to give them life, speak life over their life. See, because sometimes we don't know, understand how to speak life over our own life. So that's the charge I'm giving to speak life over you. You are the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. You're the lender and not the borrower. You're the lender and not the bar. You, <coughs> you are God's masterpiece. You're not the best kept secret because God has begun before 21 got here to unveil the secret. So you're not the best kept secret. God is getting ready to let everybody know who you are. Your name is going to precede you in the doors that he's about to open. <laughs> People are going to begin to pour life into you. And don't, don't think, don't despise, don't think it's supposed, they supposed to look like this. They supposed to act like that. They supposed to run the same circles you run. God is getting ready to pour people into your life that's going to pour into you. You got to be a warrior. You got to be war a warrior. You know, it's easy to revert back to the old you, but... You have to shake off the thought of being average and move forward in your life to your destiny. Continue to take the leap of faith and trust God and, he, and he's leading you. You got to trust the process. Trust God in the process. <laughs> we, this is the second day of the new year, January 2nd, 2021. You, it's time for you to start calling up the giants that's laid dormant on the inside. It's time for you to call the giants out so you can stand forth and be tall, be strong and courageous. See, we have a bad habit. On the December 3rd, the 1st, we happy about the 1st. The 1st, we happy. Then something happened in your life. You say it's not going to happen. I decree and declare that negativity, that stinking thinking is out your mouth. It's out your thought process. Change your mind, you'll change your life. Change your thought process to talking your death to speaking life to your future. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> This is what it's going to take for you to continue to move forward. <clears throat> it's, we've already talked about it's going to take courage. It's going to take commitment. It's going to take collaboration with positive, like-minded people. You can't tell a turtle nothing about what a giraffe sees because they don't see it. They can only see what's as far as in their face. But a giraffe can see from here all the way over there. Do you have the giraffe mindset or do you have the turtle mindset? I need you to grow that thing into be a, tur a, a giraffe. You might have started out as a, as a turtle and that's only the beginning. But once you grow, you continue to grow. You continue to hear God's voice. You continue to have a personal re relationship with God. You no longer have the mentality or the foresight of a turtle, but you have the foresight of a giraffe. Hmm. Huh. Y'all got that. I, I need to make sure you got that before I go on. If you like this, this, this information, this study that you get, let me have some likes and hearts. You can share it if you like. No, not, not if you like. Share it. You can do a watch party with it if you want to. Because this is a time we need to be bringing the giants forth. 
It's a giant in you. Stop behind behind your old self. It's a giant ready to come forth. The giant that reigns on you is ready to come forth. But we are like this. We're like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, God is right, wants the giants out. He wants the giant that's in you to come out and be giants for his glory. He wants some soldiers that's not scared. Let me help you all out one more time. This is Psalms 27, 1 and 2. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Come on, come on. <laughs> Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Why they stumble and fall? Because you belong to God. God has you covered. He has the protection around you. They can't do nothing. God won't let them. But the giant that's in you, it's time for you to wake up that sleeping giant. It's time for you to wake up. See, a lot of us that's been on here that have been listening to me, you've been wanting to know, <coughs> gee, how you wake up the giant. You follow the process. You trust God in the process. You lean and depend on God because God knows the plans he has for you, 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 and me. The plans are to prosper us, not harm us, so we have good health. And that, that's a, an, an expected end. Those, that's how you do it. You convince yourself. Wait, 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 wait. I got something for that. I got some for that. We, we talk about some people say they've been rejected. They've been rejected. The biggest person that we're rejected by, I need you to look in the mirror. The biggest person that we're rejected by is the one that's looking at you back in the mirror, yourself. You have rejected because you don't have this much money as, as the next person. You don't have this degree, that degree. Why are you measuring yourself by their yardstick. Why are you measuring what God has for you by the measuring of somebody else? Everybody's not the same. Your journey is not the same as mine, but guess what? The journey should include your relationship with God. Stop rejecting yourself. We have been telling ourselves we're not going to be successful because of measuring yourself to others, you see that you deem to be successful. You will not measure up to others because you are made different. You built differently. Our success levels are not the same. You are not another person. What they went through to get to their success they may have gone through years and years, five, six, seven years, but you keep holding on to God's hand, keep trusting God, and you going to make it in not even a half, a quarter of the time that they did, but you're going to surpass them because you're trusting God to lead you. You're trusting God to bring the people in your life that's going to pour into you, that's going to pour value into you, that's going to build you up, that's going to believe in you. And sometimes we may not, let me talk about me. I can't talk about y'all because I don't know you like that. Let me talk about me. It was some times I didn't believe in myself. And sometimes I wouldn't be on here just as bold as I am today. But guess what? I begin to sit before the Lord. I begin to labor to God. And he say, I put it in you. I need the giant to wake up. And the giant is woke. I have the fortitude of a giraffe. I don't have the mindset of a turtle anymore. I'm not going to say I've never been there. But I don't have that mindset anymore. I don't have that mindset anymore. Because God says, there's greater on the horizon, you have to understand your greater is right now. Your greater is not tomorrow, next week. Your greater is now. Come January 1, 2021, you, you're a new creature. Everything happened in 20, leave it in 20 because that's your past. 
It's time for you to make some new memories for you and your family. It's time for you to take your legacy by, by storm. It's time for you to be courageous because you know God is with you. <clears throat> it's time for you not worrying about those that think they's coming for you because God got you wrapped in his arms. He has each and every one, one of us palmed, etched in the palm of his hand. He has you. He knows you. He knows you better than you know yourself. He picked you when you was in your mother's womb, but you didn't know nothing about it. You didn't understand when, when you started feeling differently about things, when you started uh, not want to hang with them no more. You didn't really know. Uh, let me talk about me. Let me talk about me. When God first started dealing with me was in 09 when I started writing my first book. Troubles come to make you stronger on the way up to success. When, when I started writing that, I didn't want to fuss with nobody. I didn't want to have a disagreement. We just, I just wanted to be cohesive. Let us be loving. I, I, I didn't want to do that. And I, I began to ask God, God, I know you're doing something. I don't really know what it is. But I don't even want to argue with him no more. I don't want to fuss with them no more. I knew he was doing something. I really couldn't put my finger on it. Because I, 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 my mind said wasn't ready to say yeah. I, I, I felt the call, but I wouldn't say yeah. I didn't say yeah to 2011. But I ain't turned back. And I won't turn back. I'm going to serve the Lord until he calls me home. He's given me assignment to do. And I'm going to do the assignment. I want everyone to win. See, that's who I am. I want you to win. I don't want you to say, well, I lost this. <laughs> you got to be strong and courageous to be that fight. Sometimes you got to fight. You got to fight. Understand that. To get where you desire to be in life. Your happy place. I call it the island of success. This is what you need to know. You have to be courageous. You have to have committed commitment. You have to have collaboration with like-minded people. Let's go through this one at a time. Courageous. You're not afraid of anything because God got you covered. Commitment. It, whether you feel like doing something with your dream or not every day, you better be committed to do it. I can give you a prime example. I'm committed to do my exercise every day, whether it's on camera or not. I'm going to do them. <laughs> I'm committed. I, collaboration, like-minded people. I've been known to collaborate with people to have events. I've been known to collaborate with people to help them write their books. That's collaboration. I want you to win. I'm not, I'm not against you. I want you to win. Because all of our dreams are not the same. All of our journeys are not the same. All of our paths not the same. But this one thing I tell you in my closing, your journey... You better learn how to embrace it and enjoy it. You're going to have some hills. You're going to have some valleys. You're going to have some days that don't feel like Sunday. Because every day ain't Sunday at my house. But as long as I know I can call on God, I look to the hills where my help comes from. Because I know my help comes from God. We have to learn to lean on the strength of the Lord. Because we can't handle this by ourselves. We can't handle it. I decree and declare 2021 is going to be your best year ever. The, the year that you get closer to God. The year that you wake up the giant that's been sleeping for years. The year that book that he told you to write, you're going to write it. That business God told you to start or continue, you're going to do it. You shall not be paralyzed by fear. You shall not Bow down because somebody said you not supposed to be doing that. You will not be disobedient to the Lord. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I be, I'd rather be obedient than catch the wrath of God. Man can do anything and say anything. But I'm going to follow God. I'm going to follow God. I'm going to follow what God tells me. I'm going to do what God tells me. God called me to do what I do. This is not something I just picked up. This is not something I even desired to do. But when I told God yes, 
That was my answer. Yes, sir. I, I, I can't pay him for all the things he's pulled me out of it and set me up on solid ground. I can't pay him, but I can show sure tell him, thank you, sir. Every day he allows me to not only wake up, but to get up. Thank you, sir. Because he's given us a new opportunity. New opportunity to get some things right. New opportunity to live and not just exist. A new opportunity to show somebody what God has done for you. Because if he did it for you, he'll do it for them. Your belief system has to be on point with God. Your faith has to grow larger than the mustard side, mustard seed size faith. That you can start there, but your faith should not stay there. Faith without works is dead. You better work your faith. You better exercise your faith. You better take that leap of faith. You might get some scrapes and bruises along the way, but the bottom line is you moved. You moved forward. This has been Motivational Moments with Coach Gigi. Glad y'all tuned in. Share it. Let somebody on your time know what thus said the Lord, what God is doing in this season. Because he's ready to move. He's ready to move mightily in your life. But are you ready? We have to be ready for God to move. I decree and declare that this is going to be your best year ever. But you have to believe that. I can talk it. I can believe it for you. All day long, but the bottom line, if you don't believe what the woman of God has spoken over your life, it's not going to happen. You have to believe that for yourself. You have to get down on your knees. <laughs> He's taking me somewhere else. You, you got to get down on your knees and begin to call on the name of Jesus. Begin to say, God, show me me. Show me me. If it's something that is not within me that, that should be. Pour it in me, God. And if something's in me that's not of you, remove it right now. <laughs> Don't say tomorrow. God, if it's something that's not of, uh, not of you that I still, I'm still holding on to, remove it right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare this is going to be your best year ever. I decree and declare that God loves you. God wants only the best for you. I decree and declare when you decide that you're going to give up the ghost and take on who God calling you to be. I'm telling you what I know now and what I heard. See, 2020, let me understand who I am in Christ. That's my daddy. And my daddy going to come see by his daughter. Let me say it another way. He my daddy, and my daddy go come see about his baby. See, that's a personal. See, you got to have a personal relationship. That's personal for me. He going to come see about me. 2020 has got me closer to God. 2020 has helped me develop. My prayer life, my meditation time, 2020 ain't been bad. But 2021, oh my God. Y'all just keep watching. Keep watching. Me and my house, we winning. We winning. Are you winning? I can decree and declare that everybody attached to me is going to win. But if you don't say that out your own mouth. You have to decree and declare some things over yourself, over your house. I can declare it. Everybody, biologically or not, that's attached to me, you winning. You going to win. You going to win. Now, the only reason you don't win, <laughs> let me help you all out one more time. The only reason that you're not going to win, you're not courageous. You're not the warrior God is calling you to be. You haven't waken up the giant. You don't have commitment. You not. You don't want to collaborate with nobody because you think you know it all. We all need somebody else. It takes all of us to get to the success level that we desire. What you going to do? What you going to do? 
Are you going to be the warrior and fight and be courageous? Are you going to be the wimp and sit on the sidelines and think somebody else going gonna to live your life for you? Y'all be blessed. I could go on if he if he releases me to come back on here. I will be back on. But y'all know before I get off of any, any live, I pray. So, whoo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we come to you as humbly as we know how right now, God. We want to thank you for the word that you that you allow me to give your people, God. The word that you've given me to give your people, God. I want to thank you right now, God. Thank you for your strength, God. Thank you for the ones that listen to this, get wind to this, God. Just bless them where they stand, God. Bless their households right now, God. If they're not walking up right before you, God, just turn them around right now in their in their footsteps, God. Let them come back to their first love, and that's you, God. God, we thank you for the grace and mercy that you give us on every day, God. Thank you for us seeing the second day of, a, of January of 2021, God. We want to thank you right now, Jesus. You didn't have to do it, but you did it. We want to tell you thank you, God. Thank you for watching over us as we slumbered and slept, God. Thank you for allowing us to keep our mind, God. God, bless those that have some bereavement in their families, God. Just hold them, God. Give them peace beyond all understanding, God. Comfort them in their time of need. Because, God, we don't know when it's going to be our time. We want to pray for each and every one that, that is going through bereavement, has gone through bereavement in 2020 due to this virus, God. God, we're asking you just to cover the, cover the nation, God. Heal the land right now, God. God, bring your people back to you, God. God, we love you right now. We adore you right now, God. We worship you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We give you all that we have to give right now, God. We release who we thought we knew, and we're taking on who you're calling us to be, God. I personally want to tell you, thank you, Master. Thank you, God, for picking me. Thank you for allowing me to be your mouthpiece. Thank you for the mantle that you passed on to me, God. We bless you right now, God. We adore you right now, God. In the name of Jesus, we worship you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all be blessed. I love you, love you, love you, love you to life. God loves you, I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Y'all be blessed. Y'all share this video on your timelines. Y'all know my vision is to motivate and encourage the masses. This has been Motivational Moments with Coach Gigi. See y'all later. Love y'all.